New COVID boosters are rolling out and White House officials are encouraging anyone over the age of 12 who's already been vaccinated to get the new shot. It comes as pediatric COVID cases are seeing an uptick with kids returning to school and health officials are signaling that COVID shots could become an annual experience just like the flu shots. ABC's Jay O'Brien with more from Washington. This morning, the White House urging anyone over the age of 12 who's already been vaccinated for COVID to go out and get boosted again. The new Pfizer booster is cleared for anyone over 12 and Moderna's for anyone over 18 and two months out from their last shot. The boosters target the highly contagious BA4 and BA5 Omicron subvariants, getting the final green light from the CDC and FDA last week. This website, vaccines.gov, now live with locations Americans can get the new boosters. As of this past Friday, they started arriving, and by the end of this week, over 90% of Americans will live within five miles of these new updated vaccines. The rollout comes as an average 400 Americans still die every day from COVID. And with schools back in session, pediatric COVID cases are back on the rise, up more than 90,000 reported cases last week compared to just less than 80,000 two weeks before, according to a new report from the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association. But nationally, COVID cases are plateauing, while the White House is signaling a new reality in the fight against the virus, the likelihood of annual COVID vaccines, just like flu shots. Barring those variant curveballs, for a large majority of Americans, we are moving to a point where a single annual COVID shot should provide a high degree of protection against serious illness all year. Health officials urging anyone who gets the new COVID booster to consider getting a flu shot as well at the same time. All of this comes as the White House is asking Congress for an additional $22 billion to buy more vaccines, COVID treatments, and PPE. It's tied up in a larger $47 billion funding request that also addresses monkeypox and military equipment for Ukraine. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.